Welcome to J Race and Steam this morning, everybody. My name is Cameron Riddell. I'm the president of J Race and Steam, one of the owners. And I want to welcome you into our, into our home today. So usually window cleaners hate these. Put your hands up if you hate seeing these on a building. But if you got paid to put these on a building, you might look at them differently, right? Or you can put them in a place where you knew where they weren't going to be a problem. There's a more high-tech solution available. Off of surfaces, and it is electrified track. So instead of having those big spikes sticking up, you can put down a quarter inch track here that essentially sits on the surface. It's got two little conductors on it, and what happens is it gets hooked up to a, uh, in this case, a, a solar charger, charge little battery inside. You hook that up to it through some different connectors that we have. And the next time a bird stands on this, guess what happens? Zap. I, I felt it. It's pretty intense. They, uh, if it's a small bird, it'll actually blow up. So, you got to make sure you got like a dust bin and stuff like that. I'm just kidding. You look really serious back there. A joke. Another big part of bird control is netting. And this is netting to keep birds from flying up to loading docks or into building openings or whatever. And it's put up with a little cable that goes around the edge with different fasteners. And the net comes in different colors, different sizes. And these little rings here that go on, it's called hog rings, that, are, that hold it on to the cable. And uh, the way bird control really works for window cleaners and for pest control companies, it's sort of material and labor. So uh, we can help you guys with that. We also offer uh, full day training classes. So if any of you guys are interested, um, it's on the website, birdberry.com, has our training schedule. A couple of the really cool things that we do is we do a lot of R&D. We're always looking for new products and new ways to help you, the professional window cleaner or the large building service contractor, to do their job better, quicker, and more efficiently and save you money. The first thing I'm going to show you is our new hydro clean. It's an indoor water fed pool system using ultra pure water, microfiber pad, and a nice mist for uh, cleaning windows. What happens is you connect your garden hose, the system's all set up, it sprays jets of water through the system, you're going to put it down through the channel, you have some nice brushes, and you can clean it. And everything we make is designed around ergonomics, safety, sanitation, and productivity. If it doesn't meet that criteria, Hunger doesn't bring it to market. First, they come in different sizes, 11, 16, and 24. So we got a variety of sizes, so depending on the area that you're covering, you can get through that class really quickly, or if you've got some smaller, intricate areas that you're working with, you can handle that as well. What's really amazing is that when you feel uh, these brushes versus uh, more standard brushes out there in the marketplace, you're gonna notice uh, the weight differential. And the way we did that and we were able to accomplish that is that there's a, this is a porous uh, block, actually. So uh, I know it doesn't look like it, but it's, it's skinned, basically. So it, that's what makes it very light, very porous. And then we added uh, rigidity uh, ridges around the edges, as you can see, especially on these rectangle uh, brushes. So it has the added strength, so it's not going to torque or bend or break on it. We felt that you needed to have the control over the array and the pattern of, of rinse that you wanted. So we did that by two things. One, we offered pencil jets, which a lot of people prefer, but we also offer fan jets. So you have variety. So you can either utilize fan or pencil or a combination depending on what you like and how you like to work uh, the glass or the situation that you have. Those are there. So now you have the ability to decide where I want this rinse and what pattern I want, what array I want. Because we decided to develop a solar brush specifically for solar uh, uh, glass. And this one, these polishers are outstanding. These things are great because they're only four and a half pounds, so they're really lightweight. Uh, they've got a great handle on them. They're variable speed, and there's this uh, sliding uh, control switch on the end of it here to where I can set the speeds from like close to zero all the way up. To we invented these nylon pads because we wanted to reduce the risk of any scratches or any problems when you're polishing on the glass. These things are great because they're basically a converted sanding block for sandpaper. 
but we found them and we modified these to where we can add on um, these different types of polishing pads. That's why we chose this Mr. Hardwater powder as a polishing powder because it's not going to create any problems on the stone. This is exactly what you want to use to finish the granite, marble, or travertine showers. All you got to do is replace the pad. From the experiences we've had, this is probably the most durable sealer in its category. Most people stay away, tend to stay away from natural stone because they're afraid of doing something to ruin it. Unlike glass and wood and carpet and all the other things, there's nothing you can do to a piece of granite or a piece of marble or a piece of travertine that can't be fixed. And then they used our Crystal Clean, which is a neutral pH cleaner made for granite that doesn't streak or leave a residue. There's no detergents and things in it. And then clean the granite building with, this, with their window washing tools, just like the entire building was a window. I don't know if you can see it from back there. Ooh. I liked it better when it was dirty when I looked down. I didn't see anybody looking back um, yet. If you go in to deal with the glass, if you can upsell the vanity countertops and you can upsell the water deposits and the other issues that are going on in the, in the, uh, in the bathroom, um, if, you, if you walk by and you see a granite countertop and you can upsell the granite countertop, it's the easiest way for you to, to by, by adding on your, to your service, especially things that don't take a lot of learning to, a, to an existing customer base, that's the easiest way to make money. One business is, number one, keep track of your current customers, and number two, get new customers, okay? And I'm, I'm going to show you how you can get more time to get more customers and a way to speed up the, the job. Okay, if you're not staying in touch with your current customers, that's strike two, not one. That counts for two strikes. If you're not getting new customers, that's strike three. You might as well go ahead and find another job. Right? And my biggest claim, I think, is that I was hired by Cal OSHA to train them. And I got paid money, hard taxpayers money. Thank you very much for paying taxes. But they paid me when they had money, and now they don't have any money, so they don't talk to me. But that's all right. I still know more than they do. So what you have to do is you've got to train your employees. And if your employees in here, this is part of it. What is right and wrong? So if they go to a job site and something is not correct, then they will call you up and say, we don't have the proper tools, the boom lift's too short, we don't have a tucker pole that's long enough, there's electrical wires close by, and then they are eyes and ears because if they have an incident, God forbid a bad one, the employer is going to be held responsible, your company is going to have to pay the money. So if you're washing windows somewhere and somebody gets hurt painting, OSHA has to come. So there's been an incident on a job site Good idea to pack up and pull off for the day because you know they're coming. There are only three parts to fall to rest. A, B, and C. Uh, I wanted to show you the uh, Ettoray AquaClean Dolly system. This system here is a uh, four-stage unit. It's got uh, sediment cartridge prefiltration, dual 21-inch RO, and uh, DI cartridge. Uh, all, all the systems we manufacture are commercial units. Filters are large uh, commercial membranes or carbon sediment as well as DI uh, units. The ROs on these systems are de designed to last you anywhere from three to five years. So long as you're taking care of your carbon filter and, and doing your maintenance on your systems. The Gardner Extreme range goes from 22 feet all the way up to 77 feet. And these poles, a 25 footer is fully telescoping. So you've got a telescoping pole that adjusts every half section. And what they've done here, the reason for that is it cuts down on the weight of the pole. The nice thing about these poles is you can add to this. So if you buy a 25 foot pole, you can add a 10 foot extension kit, which is two telescoping lengths. You add that to this and it makes the 35 footer. So we have a 35. I haven't met, I'm Steve Blythe with Jay Racenstein. I'm one of the partners. And um, I, uh, I, I tend to get in, involved with all the the fun new things and new ways to get things going and help people make and save money with this stuff. So, what we'll talk about today is uh, is removing uh, other contaminants on the glass that you find up there without having to go up to that glass. Well, what are different ways to do that without having to ladder up? All right. Oh, I better say that now. In order in order for you guys to listen to my presentation, I was told there's a raffle at the end. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, so if you if you make it through what I have to say, then you'll be able to to get a raffle, be in the raffle for possibly winning a raffle prize, and we have some good things. The uh, if there's a lot of bird droppings, then we have some specialty chemicals from our sister company next door to make sure that you don't get harmed. The number one person affected by bird droppings is the guy cleaning it. If you ever get into bird dropping, big money in bird droppings because it's a hazardous material. It's a biological. So no different than somebody crapped on the roof, you know? Just a little or somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so I know a lot of you guys are doing pressure washing, or if you're in the early stages, your beginning stages of pressure washing, or a lot of vet veterans in here as well. Uh, I'm available virtually 24-7 for any questions that you have with efflorescence, with calcium, calcium carbonate. If you run into alkali silica reactions with concrete, alkali aggregate reactions, I've been through war with this stuff. Right now we have the number one rated uh, rust referral contractor network on the internet. So whether it's fertilizer, battery stains, rust, you know, you can go in and search about 15 different search terms and we're going to come up. So what's going to happen is, you know, you know if we, we can give you a, a 30 mile radius, uh, put you on the website, make sure you don't interfere or you're not in somebody else's territory. And there's a program behind it, and if you're interested, you can give me a call or shoot me a text, shoot me an email. We can go into a, li a little bit more.